How's it going everyone, this is Tom with RedmanPie.com and today I want to ask you what the difference is between my iPhone on the left and my iPod Touch 5th generation on the right. Yes, you're right if you guess that the iPhone is running iOS 6 and the iPod is running iOS 7 and that is the basis of today's video because we're taking a look at how to transform iOS 6 via jailbreak tweaks into something that looks like iOS 7. Of course, nothing is going to match the actual functionality of iOS 7. This is just kind of emulating it. It really does a good job, though, and you might be surprised about how many people you can fool to thinking you are running iOS 7 on your device. First of all, we're going to be taking a look at the theme that I'm using. So I'm using two themes. Uh, one's very, quite small and it only themes a couple of things, and the other is the icon set. The, others, the actual icons that I'm using is a theme called iOS 7 theme, and that themes uh, most of the core Apple applications to make them look like iOS 7. Of course, you're not going to get themes for everything else, like Fantastical and YouTube aren't themed for me, for example. However, that's a you know a minor thing, and you can just hide those away on other pages. That, like what I've done, I've put all of the core applications on the first page, so that's the first thing I look at when I unlock my device. And then I'm also using another theme, and that's called iOS 6 Bars and Battery, and that, like you guessed, themes the iOS 6 status bar. You get the signal bars and also the battery. When you plug it in, it goes green and it's got a much flatter interface than the standard charging uh, thing for iOS. Okay, so now let's talk about some core functionality. Now the first tweak we're gonna be taking a look at is called Blurred NC Background. Now what this does is it gives you, as the name would suggest, a blurred background when you pull down your notification center, much like is found in iOS 7. You can actually change the radius of the blur, so the amount of blur that uh, occurs. It's just a very nice interface, um, this happens of course, over every screen which you can access a notification center, but it definitely looks the best on your home screen, especially with those iOS 7 icons. Next up, we have the app switcher that I'm using, and you might notice this is almost identical to the uh, Apple iOS 7 app switcher, and it's called Card Switcher. This is version 2 of Card Switcher, and this is really great. I personally, I absolutely love this. You can uh, slide along, you can exit the apps from the top there, you get a live preview of the app. Excuse me, it's not live, but uh, you know what I mean. You can actually see the app before you switch to it. You just switch to it just by tapping, just like that. You can invoke it, and you can even swipe up to close on the applications, uh, so for example, like you do in iOS 7, exactly the same. So this is almost identical to the iOS 7 app switcher, which is a huge plus, especially for the jailbreak scene. Next, let's chat about the lock screen, and this is actually on a custom repo, it's called Fin Lock Screen, uh, and uh, all of the information about any of the stuff I'm talking about will be linked in an article to redmanpie.com, and that'll be in the top bar of the description, so you can find out what source is, everything like that, uh, about that kind of stuff. But this is called Fin Lock Screen, and it's a really beautiful lock screen, especially with the iOS 7 uh, wallpaper that I've set. Uh, I will try and link a tutorial on how to change the wallpaper of this, but on the whole, it's really nice, you get the camera grabber, it's a very inclusive lock screen theme. I've also used Folder Enhancer here, and that allows you to put pages in your folders. You can change the background color uh, of the uh, folders themselves, and we'll talk about that in a little second. Um, but for example, you can just drag over apps like this. You can add many more apps than you could have done in standard iOS folders. They go full screen, like you can see here. It's a very useful tweak. I actually use this on all of my devices that are jailbroken, just because I hate having like, six apps in a, in a folder and then uh, a full folder so it's just very annoying uh, to have two folders for the same thing and folder enhancer fixes this like i said you can change the color of the um folder background so we're going to do that here and we i changed it to a very light to gray and it looks really good and it definitely looks a lot like more like an uh, ios 7 folder next up is a tweak called deep end and this is an interesting tweak because it actually gives you uh, the option to have the kind of a 3D effect, like a parallax effect on your home screen. I'm going to increase the zoom here just so you can see it a lot better. But as you can see, as I move my device, you wouldn't have it this pronounced uh, if you were actually using it, it would just get annoying. But you can see that my wallpaper, which is the iOS 7 wallpaper, that will be linked down below as well. You can actually, uh, it moves according to the... Uh, uh, kind of how you move your device according to the accelerometer in your device and the wallpaper moves and it makes it look like a, a kind of a 3d board at the back uh, there's another there's a number of other tweaks that do the same sort of thing in studio but this is just very cool and is my favorite out of them for the next tweak this is actually auxo and i'm using this in replacement for uh 
SB settings because SB settings are just kind of playing up for me. It's also quite an outdated tweak now. So Auxo, as I'm sure you're aware, this is kind of my control center alternative. It might not look the same as control center, but it's got a lot of the same functionality and even more if you consider the app switcher functionality. I'm not using it for that, but you can access your brightness. You have a quick toggles uh, here, so you can toggle things like your Wi-Fi and your auto rotation directly from the Auxo interface. You've also got media controls if you swipe over, and I'm using this in collaboration with Zephyr, which lets me swipe up from the bottom uh, to invoke the app switcher, which is a really nice feature, and that's obviously how you invoke control center on iOS 7. So that is my control center alternative. Might not look the same, but in my opinion, is definitely as good, if not better, than control center for iOS 7. And to finish up this video, we're going to be looking at a font, and the font I'm using is a Byte font, font, so you will need to install Byte font from Cydia. And the actual font name that I'm using is uh, called Roberto Light. So again, that will be in the description in the post linked. But it's very similar to the font that they're using within iOS 7. And the good thing about Byte font is it's totally universal. Uh, you can view the fonts from, for example, I'm using Tweetbot, and it's just the default font. You can also have it on your application labels. As you can see right here, all of my application labels are in this new font. Uh, and that's the kind of icing of the cake of this little uh, project we've got going here. Well guys, there we have it. That's my kind of walkthrough on how to get iOS 6 looking and functioning a lot more like iOS 7. If you did enjoy it, definitely drop this video a like, subscribe to the Redmond Pie YouTube channel. All of Redmond Pie's social links will be down in the description along with my Twitter if you'd like to follow me. So don't forget to check those out. And apart from that guys, I will catch you in the next video.